Um, okay, so uh, it's cryptically called a few things I relearned on my way to Wagtail Space. So a quick thing, I cycled here from England, and so yeah, like I've been, been uh, people were asking me, are you that guy? Yeah, I am that crazy guy. So this is like the, the approximate route that I took. Uh, I didn't cycle on that blue patch because uh, I was on a ferry. But I did about 489 kilometers, and I had a lot of time to, you know, think about things. Um, so the first thing uh, is, you know, kind of listen to your elders, or better said, uh, or, or your peers, or people who know things and who, who, who are more experienced. Uh, so... In my case, uh, I am lucky to have a few friends who are keen cyclists, and they, first of all, kitted me out. So that's my bike, but uh, everything else, like the, 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 the long trip stuff, the panniers and the, the bags, everything is for, from friends. But they also gave me practical tips, like get a, a cream, a special cream, so you don't suffer while you cycle long distance. <clears throat> also, they, they kind of said, well, you need to eat a lot and regularly, and uh, bananas are good, so uh, I got those as well. And uh, uh, yeah, so just uh, listen to your elders, really. And the second one is, uh, oh yeah, and the second thing is uh, when I planned the trip, I, it was taking me through London in a different way, about the same ki kilometers. But then my friends went, try this other route because it's gonna be nicer, it's more scenic, and I'm glad I did. I mean, no one wants to go through a very big and polluted city. Now, <coughs> being static is bad. Unlike, you know, with websites, <coughs> being static on, 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 on the bike for long distances is quite bad. So on my second day, I kind of forgot about that. So I put a lot of pressure on my hands and kept them pretty much in the same position. And uh, at the end of the day, I couldn't feel my hands. So I couldn't like tie my shoelaces or untie my shoelaces. And that was very disconcerting. So yeah, you know, you need to change the position. Uh, there are things that you can do, you know, mm -hmm. uh, wave your hands and put them at the back, kind of take pressure off them. The other thing that I learned is, um, <coughs> you know, and, and to kind of paraphrase, uh, uh, well, what's his name? Ford Perfect from uh, Hitchhiker's Guide. You know, it's 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 a tough uh, world out there. But you know, if you want to survive, you, you need to know where your towel is. I had that, uh, and also the sunscreen. Uh, I didn't have that, and I thought I overpacked. It turns out I overpacked, also underpacked, and uh, you can see like I I I enjoyed the sun a lot. Um, the other one is technology does not know better sometimes. I mean, or sorry, the other way. Technology does know better sometimes. And when I was planning my route, uh, the, there was this section which had a lot of canal paths. And I said, well, I want to go from here to here. And it was taking me one way. And then I heard, well, the canal paths are nice. I want to go there. So I was dragging the, the route toward the canal paths, and it was still trying to take me away. And it started, and now I know why. So it started like idyllic, you know, like shade and water and like wide paths. And incrementally they got narrower and worse and muddier and like it, it got like proper off-road. So sometimes, you know, trust technology. Um, also, you know, have a backup plan. So <clears throat> just a week before I was to set off my free hub, so that, 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 that bit on the, on the left uh, packed it in. So, you know, the, on, compared to the one on the right, so those little, like, winglets are the ones that make the noise uh, when you, like, free, like, free will. And they also engage, and that's what take, takes you forward. Well, if, it, if they don't open up, you kind of pedal in, in place. And it was a l very long weekend in England, you know, the whole Jubilee and the Queen and whatnot, which meant I, can, I could not actually get stuff delivered fast. So I didn't know <laughs> up until the last moment whether I, I, can, I can make it or not. And the other one was I, I had a cold. So uh, again, it's like, can I make it? 
so it will make sure that you have a backup plan, like maybe perhaps, you know, take the train. Um, another thing, well, two things here that I, uh, I learned or re reminded myself that it's okay to stop and enjoy the things that you do. And for me, that was like trying lots of crazy new things. Uh, although, you know, the pizza is not crazy, this was like exotic meats. Uh, sourced, like responsibly sourced, I have to uh, caveat that. And also like me, that's me kind of taking a break and you can see like I made, uh, I've like a, I look weird. And I realized, I, and I <laughs> learned that I make funny faces uh, when I take selfies. I didn't know that, oh well. And finally, you know, I'm really glad that I did, took this trip uh, and it was fun and I hope uh, that we can start a tradition for future future ones. That's all.